Hello everyone. Today we are making Instant Pot Barbecue Coca-Cola Ribs. This is an easy recipe that you will absolutely love. Stay tuned for the recipe. You won't regret it. Hello guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite recipes for uh, spare ribs, and that is the Coca-Cola ribs. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make this simple recipe using my Instant Pot. Here I have my spare ribs here. So I have these, I have seasoned them with just meat tenderizer. You don't even have to do that because the Instant Pot is gonna really tenderize these. But what I'll do now is just sprinkle with a little salt just a little salt and a little pepper only. Just a little. And then I will place these in the Instant Pot shortly, but I wanna show you first the marinade that I will place into the Instant Pot with these ribs. All right guys, for the marinade, I am simply using two ingredients, which my barbecue um, sauce of choice is a sweet baby raised and then I have a can of Coca-Cola. And I'll probably use this whole can, and I don't measure, so um, just you can just watch what I'm doing here. I, it tastes the same, it's gonna taste good. It will uh, be tender as soon as you take them out of the Instant Pot. So you can't mess this up at all. You just add and combine in a bowl, and then we're gonna add it to the Instant Pot. It's simple as that. So I have my bowl here, and I'm just gonna squeeze I don't know, I can't estimate, but you can kind of see how much I'm adding here. Just enough to kind of coat the uh, all the ribs I'm gonna place in the Instant Pot. Then I'm just gonna open this can and I'm gonna mix this. I'm just gonna simply add this so it's strong here with the fish. Okay guys, so I've added that in and I'm just gonna whisk this together. And it's thick, and you can see that fizz as long as you want the Coca-Cola pretty strong. You know, you want that fizz. You don't want it to be flat. Hope you can see this. So this is a good mixture. I can smell the barbecue sauce and that Coca-Cola. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the Coca-Cola. So I want it to really, really um, soak into all the meat. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the barbecue sauce. I want it to so drenched in this Instant Pot. So I think this is going to be good here. Then I'm going to stir this one more time. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to set this aside here. And then we are going to add the, the ribs to the Instant Pot along with the uh, Coca-Cola and barbecue sauce mixture. Okay guys, I am now going to add the ribs to the Instant Pot. And I'll go ahead and just grab these with my hand. I'm just going to place them in as you can see. And then I'm now going to pour the sauce. I am just going to pour this in. This looks yummy already. It smells so good. All right, guys, these look so good. So I'm just gonna smother that. As you can see, the sauce is pretty much saturating the, the ribs here. So I've plugged in the Instant Pot and I'm gonna place the cover on. And make sure this is sealed. I'm gonna make sure that's sealed, not to vent yet. And then we're going to pressure cook manual for 30 minutes. So I'm just going to take this down to 30 minutes and we'll get this started and I will be back once the 30 minutes has passed. Okay guys, my ribs are now complete. So I'm going to open up the Instant Pot here and I've already released the steam. Get that over here. 
and you can see that these are perfectly cooked. They look so good. It smells heavenly. So I'm gonna remove these. Sorry for the wiggling of this, of the camera. And I'm just gonna remove this and place this on a baking sheet here. And then I'll show you the next step what I'm gonna do with the marinade. Look at this, it's so, uh, they smell so good, guys. And you can see the bones. Let me see if I can get this out. Oh, see the bones are falling right off. Look at that. Look at the bones. One just fell back in the Instant Pot. But these are so tender, just falling right off the bone. So I'm gonna place these on this cooking sheet, guys, and I'll be right back and show you the next step. Okay, guys, I have removed the spare ribs here. And you can see the bones here that fell off in the, the um, barbecue sauce, but I just moved those to the side right now. So now what I'm gonna do with this delicious sauce is transfer this to a skillet. And I'm just gonna pour that in a skillet and turn it up to medium high. And I'm gonna bring this to a boil. This should thicken up some. And what I'll do before we place these in the oven is pour this on top of the spare ribs. All right, I have transferred the barbecue sauce and the Coca-Cola marinade right here in my skillet. And I've turned that up to a medium high. So I'm gonna wait for this to boil and stir um, consistently once it starts to boil. And I'll probably let this cook for maybe five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna drizzle this on top of the ribs and place in the oven to broil for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, so what I'm doing now is that I have my sauce here that has been warmed, it's a little thick. So I'm gonna take this sauce and just kind of pour it over my ribs. And this is on a lined cookie sheet. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna pour it all over these ribs. Oh my gosh, guys, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. So I just want them all on here. It is still a little liquidy. Um, it is thicker than what it was in the Instant Pot, but that's okay. So all I'm gonna do is place this in the, in the oven, which is now ready. I have it on broil, and I'm going to place these in the oven for about 15 minutes on broil. I think I have really too much sauce here, but this will work. And then we can add some more when I take them out, but this is perfect. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do now is place these in the oven for 10 minutes. All right, guys, this is the finished masterpiece. They smell so good. I wish you could taste this through the camera, but it's delicious. Uh, I tried a little piece of it. <laughs> Already I had to sneak a piece, but it's so good. And I've drizzled um, afterwards some more of the sauce on here, and I'll do that some here. But this is, it is absolutely, oh, uh, oh, uh, it smells so good. This is the final masterpiece, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. It smells heavenly. Let me know if you try it and how you like it. I will leave the descriptions in the description box. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.